this breaks silence, gives liberals devastating history lesson. Defense Secretary James Mattis rallied U.S. troops abroad urging them to hold the line as the United States deals with its problems. He gave a spur-of-the-moment speech that has gained a massive welling of support. The four-star general applauded troops because he believes that they are an inspiration for the divided nation. The troops can't let political differences get in the way otherwise they die over something very stupid. Advertisement Just hold the line until our country gets back to understanding and respecting each other, and showing it, of being friendly to one another, you know, that Americans owe to one another, Mattis told them. It's not clear when the speech was actually recorded, but Kevin Barron, who saw the video, said the comments possible happened during Mattis' visit to Jordan last week. That would have been a response to the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia where white supremacists and liberals terrorist organizations clashed over the statue removal. The video shows Mattis rocking a suit. He introduced himself to the service members and showed his appreciation for their service to the United States. Advertisement My name's Mattis. I work at the Department of Defense, the plain-spoken defense chief said. And thanks for being out here, okay? I know at times you wonder if anybody knows, the only way this great big experiment you and I call America is going to survive is if we got tough hombres like you. Mattis is in the midst of dealing with pushing forward the president's transgender military ban. He told the military very clearly that they are a great example for the nation at this point in time. He made it clear that the issues corrupting the country aren't affecting the military and it's refreshing. Is. And you just hold the line, my fine young soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines. Mattis told the troops it's because of them he flunked retirement. The only reason I came back is to serve alongside young people like you who are so selfless and, frankly, so rambunctious. It's a pleasure to be around you all, he said. Take care of each other out here. What do you think of this? Fake photo of Barack Obama fools liberals, melts down internet. The internet using population was tricked this weekend. A Twitter user decided to circulate a photo of Barack Obama. It showed the former president serving food in Houston like he was serving Houston victims of Hurricane Harvey. The photo has since been deleted with its accompanying caption, which states something you'll never see Trump do, Obama is in Texas serving meals. Advertisement The internet never fails to politicize natural disasters and troll President Trump. This photo of Barack Obama was actually from 2015 when he was serving Thanksgiving dinner at a homeless shelter. The tweet was given enough time to spread and become viral. The photo received around 15,000 likes and nearly 8,000 retweets. That is a good bit considering it wasn't an accurate depiction. It shows how truly stupid people are. Below is the photo that was shared by a Twitter user. The Twitter user apologized and tried to seem like he actually cared that he tricked people. He actually was trying to sway people into believing that Obama is actually serving people. We all know that he would never do that in any capacity outside of office. Advertisement I took down the tweet of Obama, I apologize to people who thought it was real. Also to at Calrail I apologize. Aiden Benjamin, at Fizzle underscore Hogai. August 28, 2017 I mean come on, internet. The woman on the right is wearing a bulky cable knit sweater. How many people have you seen wearing heavy winter attire in Texas in August? You people spend your days going over music videos and cryptic celebrity tweets with a fine tooth comb. Couldn't you have at least cracked this puzzle? This wasn't the only lie that was spread after Hurricane Harvey struck. Someone photoshopped a shark into the water on a Texas highway. People actually believed it. Thanks to everyone who's bored on the internet and taking time out of their days to spread fake news rather than actually helping those who are left in the wake of Hurricane Harvey. What do you think about this? Do you think Obama would actually help out?
Trump discovers easy way to stop welfare leeches from buying booze with food stamps. It's a well-known fact that welfare fraud is a scary and serious problem. But Trump's solution isn't something any president before has tried. Keep in mind, the solutions for solving welfare fraud are pretty much limited to finding and removing the fraudsters. Reforming the system on a larger scale is very difficult. So difficult, in fact, that no politician has solved it yet. Advertisement Trump just offered a great solution, charge retailers for accepting EBT. It's not an expected solution. But it really works. MSN reports. The White House wants to charge retailers that accept food stamps. The Office of Management and Budget said the fee would be paid when stores sign up and would require renewal after five years. Advertisement. That amounts to $2.4 billion in 10 years. This is such an intelligent solution. Stores that accept food stamps make a ton of money from the American taxpayer. Shouldn't we get paid back from some portion of that? But the big deal is this will help end the worst food stamp abuses, like when they trade a portion of their welfare for cash to buy drugs and booze. Is there a better way to make sure that every transaction is legitimate than by charging stores for food stamp purchases? It's very smart, businesslike, and common sense. Wait though, here come the protests, watch. The Food Marketing Institute said, that they the flawed policy of imposing fees on food retailers in order to reduce the cost of the federal government's nutrition assistance benefits to the most needy in our society. This is so awesome and makes me smile. A lobbying group puts forth a vague and pathetic statement that whines, in a nutshell, I don't like what Trump is doing. Without, of course, explaining exactly what is wrong with Trump's proposals. No one can actually find something wrong with this so they complain that it's mean. All they can do is make boring statements about how scary it is. That's the last gasps of a dying group of DC politicians, folks. Look how many Cleveland Browns players stood for the national anthem after NFL legend smacked some sense into them. Last week, 12 Cleveland Browns players chose to follow Colin Kaepernick's example and kneel during the national anthem in protest before their game against the New York Giants. Saturday things seemed very different. Every single player and coach stood up and respected the flag like intelligent patriots that deserve the freedoms that they have. Advertisement When play-by-play -play commentator Jim Donovan noticed that they were all standing, his partner, Doug Deacon, gave full credit to Jim Brown who had met with the players right before the game. Jim Brown who is widely considered one of the greatest players in NFL history called them out and he said, Do not disrespect the flag, do not disrespect your country. Jim Brown is the most famous Cleveland Browns player ever. He made news last week when he called out Colin Kaepernick for his protests. Advertisement Colin has to make up his mind whether he is truly an activist or rather he is a football player. Football is commercial. You have owners. You have fans. And you want to honor that if you're making that kind of money. He said that if you have a cause you should organize it. He wants Kaepernick to present it in an appropriate manner. He do not want him on one knee. Brown expects a movement to be an actual movement you have a cause, I think you should organize it and present it in a manner where it s not only you sitting on one knee, but a lot of people that are going to get behind each other and do something about it. I would advise the young man, if you're a football player, play football. If you're going to be a real activist, use your money, use your notoriety. You have to understand there as intelligence that has involved, okay? I can TB two things at once that contradict each other. If I sign for money, then the people I sign with, they have rules and regulations. Last week has national anthem protest by the Browns players caused controversy and numerous people have said they don't want any part of the games if this continues. What do you think of this awesome move by Jim Brown?
Mike Huckabee takes off kid gloves, knocks Jeff Flake flat on his back. Former Governor of Arkansas Mike Huckabee made a regular appearance on Fox News Thursday. He used that opportunity to go after the rhino loser Jeff Flake in a vicious attack that makes rhinos seriously worry if they will maintain their little club much longer. Leland Vittert was interviewing Huckabee when he put Flake on notice for his sorry excuse of a book conscious of a conservative comma which was highly critical of President Trump and his voters. Trump annihilated Jeff Flake in an awesome tweet last week. Well I think Jeff Flake writing a book trying to, you know, poke at Donald Trump. He should have known that when you poke at Donald Trump, he is going to come back at you. I mean, my gosh. Did did somebody miss the entire 2016 presidential race and not see the primary as well as the general election question mark? Huckabee then called out Flake of taking advantage of the idiocy of Trump haters in an effort to turn it into a publicity stunt, instead of giving helpful advice. But more importantly, here is something I, I wish the senator would understand, if he has got a difference with the president, take it to him, but do it in private. What it seemed that Jeff Flake was interested in doing was selling a lot of books and by taking on Donald Trump every liberal show was just gushing over him for having done that dot. Advertisement Mike Huckabee then told the truth. He wants all rhinos to be aware as well as the Democrats. They must know that they are in trouble. You know, the Democrats stick together, Leland. You you let one of the Democrats, you know say something ridiculous and they circle the wagons behind that person, they never call them out. A Republican can't wait to run in front of a camera and trash the president. What do you think about this?